After his death by assassination at a nightclub in Cornwall, friends, family, and teammates have paid tribute to the absolute legend and kind-hearted rugby player. Locals have identified Michael Allen, 35, as the victim of an early Sunday morning brawl that broke out near the Eclipse nightclub in Bodmin. At least seven people sustained hit wounds and were brought to the hospital. Their injuries were described as serious to minor, but none were life-threatening. A 24-year-old male from Bodmin was arrested by police in Devon and Cornwall on suspicion of a hit to murder, attempted forcibly death, and GBH. Mr. Allen, a resident of Bodmin and a well-liked member of the Bodmin RFC, has been remembered by his loved ones and teammates while the police continue their investigation. Mike was a beloved son, brother, grandson, and uncle who had a soft spot in his heart for animals, according to a brief statement released by his family. His loved ones have asked for privacy during this difficult time. You were a great funny guy Michael Allen, an absolute legend, heart of gold, a buddy gushed on social media, absolutely devastated, big man, rest in peace. Another acquaintance, who went by the handle Chevel, rushed to Facebook to express her sorrow and pay respect to her kind-hearted pal. A further user expressed her sorrow on the board, calling Mr. Allen such a lovely bubbly lad. What a horrible world we live in, Michael, love you always cuz, another relative said. He was the most gentle, caring man you could ever meet. We will miss him dearly. On Sunday night, a minute of silence was observed in Mr. Allen's honor at the Hole in the Wall in Bodmin, a bar he frequented with his teammates. The Bodmin Rugby Club has been transformed into a memorial for Mr. Allen's loved ones and friends to congregate and pay their respects. Bodmin RFC, while paying respect to the rugby player, remarked that Mr. Allen's sense of humor would be missed. The rugby club shared the news of Mike Allen, Chapel's death on Facebook, writing, it is with great sadness that we can now announce the passing of our player and friend. Mike joined the team earlier in the season, and he has since become an integral cog in our machine. We shall all remember him fondly for his sense of humor and his generosity. Our hearts go out to Mike's family during this difficult time. People are encouraged to visit the memorial outside the rugby club to pay their respects and lay flowers to the skies, dude. Friend and teammate Ollie Brooks of the Bodmin RFC added, It was a pleasure, Chevel, next to a photo of him playing rugby. Get up there, bro. Heart. Mike Allen. Lachlan Blacklaw also praised his former teammate in an email, saying, It was a pleasure, Chevel. Always remembered brother. Maintain a high rate of speed indefinitely. Heart. Mike Allen. The sports team's other club, Helston RFC, also shared their condolences on social media. The thoughts of everyone here at Helston RFC are with Bodmin RFC today. Everyone will mourn Mike Allen's untimely death. Our deepest sympathies go out to his loved ones and the entire club. The entire Lankily Fowey Rugby Club is deeply saddened by the news of Mr. Allen's passing. The club stated in a statement, all of us at Lankily RFC are deeply saddened to hear about the passing of Chibel, Mike Allen. It said, During this time of loss, we ask that you keep his loved ones, friends, and the Bodmin RFC in your prayers. Please accept our deepest sympathies and know that you have our support during this difficult time. RFC Bodmin Despite not knowing Mr. Allen personally, licensee Stephen Hall told The Independent that the rugby star was well known to patrons of the hole in the wall. There's a lot of shock and emotion about what happened in the early hours, Mr. Hall added. It has a profound impact on the community, but more importantly, it touches people close to home. North Cornwall Member of Parliament Scott Mann expressed his own sadness at the truly horrific news. On Twitter, he expressed his condolences to the victim's loved ones, saying, My thoughts and prayers are with you. Photos shot on Monday reveal that the police cordon outside the Eclipse nightclub is still in place. Reports of a serious altercation prompted the initial call to Devon and Cornwall Police at 3.15 on Sunday morning. The police department stated that while some of the involved parties had been inside Eclipse nightclub earlier in the evening, the attack actually took place outside. It was later determined that the victim had died on the spot. His family has been notified, and they are receiving assistance from trained officers. The apprehended 24-year-old male is still in detention, according to the police. 
The police have also asked anyone with knowledge to come forward. Superintendent Rot Youngman stated that they are still trying to determine a motive and that it is still unknown what the relationship was between the arrested suspect and the victim. He stated, At this time, we are continuing to investigate the incident's motivation. It is still unclear what, if any, connection there is between the parties involved. We have information that suggests some of the wounded party was at Eclipse Nightclub. The event occurred while they were outside on Castle Canuck Road. At the club's rowdy and unsafe kickout time, according to one local, they complained that the eclipse's closing hour was always chaotic and dangerous. Please don't assume that I've never been around a fight. Prayers for all those who have been impacted by this terrible news. An additional commenter lamented, No such thing as a good old punch-up anymore, mate. Absolutely gutted. He was a diamond. Biography of Michael Allen Michael Allen is a former professional rugby player who played as a winger. He was born on June 3, 1989, in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Allen grew up in a rugby-loving family and was exposed to the sport from a young age. He attended Methodist College Belfast, a school with a rich rugby tradition, and quickly developed into a promising young talent. At the age of 18, Allen joined the Ulster Rugby Academy, a program designed to develop young rugby players and prepare them for professional rugby. He spent two years in the academy, honing his skills and learning the intricacies of the game. In 2010, he made his professional debut for Ulster Rugby in a match against the Newport Gwent Dragons. He impressed in his first season, scoring five tries in 16 appearances and quickly established himself as one of the rising stars of Irish rugby. In 2011, Allen was called up to the Ireland national team for the first time. He made his debut in a match against Canada, coming off the bench to score a try. He went on to make a total of four appearances for Ireland, scoring two tries. However, he struggled to cement his place in the national team and found himself behind more established players in the pecking order. Despite his international struggles, Allen continued to impress at club level. He played a key role in Ulster's run to the Heineken Cup final in 2012, scoring two tries in the quarterfinals against Munster. He also helped the team win the Pro 12 title in 2013, scoring a crucial try in the final against Leinster. In 2015, Allen left Ulster to join Edinburgh Rugby. He spent two seasons with the Scottish club playing 30 matches and scoring 10 tries. However, injuries and increased competition for places limited his playing time, and he decided to retire from professional rugby in 2017 at the age of 28. Since retiring from rugby, Allen has worked as a coach and mentor, helping to develop the next generation of young rugby players. He has also pursued a career in business, completing a degree in business management and working for a number of companies in Belfast. Michael Allen is widely regarded as one of the most exciting and talented rugby players to come out of Northern Ireland in recent years. His pace, skill, and ability to read the game made him a formidable opponent for any team, and he will be remembered as a key player in Ulster's recent success. Thanks for watching.